Hello and welcome to ITRMI Windows 11 got announced on 24th of June 2021 and still at the time of recording on 4th of July 2021 it is still not publicly available but yes beta build is available but people have been playing around since one week before the announcement using the leak build so in this video I'm going to talk about how to install Windows 11 in the unsupported hardware so without further ado let's get started so if you talk about what's new in windows 11 it's basically you can say windows 10 with a new skin from here you can see that the taskbar icons have been centered and the the start menu has been centered with some cosmetic changes and then you get some layouting functionality a default meeting application installed and some widgets available so if you talk about the minimum system requirement you need to have at least one gigahertz of processor with dual core 4 gb of ram 64 gb of storage and you need to have a uefi with secure boot enable and a tpm chip so in this case if you want to install your machine where it is not supporting uefi or it has uefi but doesn't support tpm 2.0 maybe you have tpm 1.2 so I will be showing the installation where uh, in a remote environment where we have Windows 10 already installed and I'll be installing Windows 11 on that. So let's get started. Okay, so here I'm in my Windows 10 machine and if you look at the system information, and it's a Windows 10 operating system enterprise edition and it's installed in legacy BIOS mode. And if you talk about the disk configuration, if I right click the start button and go on to disk management, here you can see that I have three partitions in the, in the first hard drive. And the first partition is the system partition that contains the boot configuration database, 50 megabytes. And the second partition is where your operating system is installed, that is the boot partition. And the third one is the recovery partition. So the way I will be installing is I'll not be doing anything with the system reserved and recovery partition. I'll be just formatting this partition and installing Windows 11 on that. So ensure you have taken the backup of whatever content you have over here before proceeding uh, with the steps that I'm going to show you. So talking about the installation media, I have already downloaded the installation ISO that is sitting on the second hard disk. That is assigned drive letter D. So if I can go here on the D drive, you can see I have the ISO. If I double click on it to mount it, and here what you need to go is you just need to go onto sources and pick install.wim file, copy it, and paste it in some location other than the C drive because you are going to format that. So just Go to D drive and paste it here. Okay, so this WIM file is basically, you can see a compressed file that contains your entire operating system image. And this contains all the additions of Windows 11. So what we need to do is we need to boot into the recovery environment to do the installation. So just click the start button, click power, and Press the shift key while clicking on restart so that it boots into the recovery environment. Okay, so here I need to do is troubleshoot. Go ahead with advanced options and click on command prompt. Okay, so I want to log in as user IT army. And there is no password, I'll just click continue. Okay, so finally I'm on the command prompt. Now, when you are into a recovery environment, the drive letters are different from that what you were running in the C drive. So if I click, if I type in DIRC colon, you're gonna see that C drive is empty. Why? Because the first 50 megabytes of partition is now assigned drive letter C. So if I say DIRC forward slash A to show all the contents and here you can see that here we have the boot configuration database and related files sitting here. If I say DIR 
D colon and here you can see that when I was running the operating system the second is that was containing my ISO image that is sitting on the D drive and if I say DIR E colon and this is what was my C drive and my Windows 10 was running so this is the partition I have to format and then we will be installing the WIM file so for installing for formatting you say format e colon slash quick or you can simply say q and press enter key and that's asking you are you sure you want to format yes and now it's asking you for the volume label so for my drive i don't have any label if you have any label just type in that label i will press enter key and it got formatted Okay, now I'll be using the command line utility called as DISM that is available in the recurrent recovery environment that is called as DISM. And this command line utility can be used for viewing the WIM file, what you have inside the WIM file. And you can also apply a WIM file to any directory. So uh, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to see what is the content of the WIM file. So if I scroll up, you can see over here, get image info, and you need to supply the WIM file and then you can show the content so get image info so I can say DISM slash get hyphen image info and if you don't know how to use this you can put forward slash question mark and press enter key and it's telling you that get image info requires the WIM file and it's gonna show you what all contents you have that in that WIM file so if I type in forward slash image file and this commands are case insensitive these switches are case insensitive so you type in uppercase or lowercase it won't make any difference so uh, if you remember that our vim file was sitting in d drive backslash install.vim so if i press tab key it automatically completes it now you need to make sure that there is no space so you, before the path so you forward slash image file colon and then you specify the vim file location now if I hit enter key, it's going to show me the index of all the different editions available. So we have Windows 10 Home, Home and Single Language, Education, Professional, all these different editions are available. So depending on what license you have, you can choose the product you are going to install. So I'm going to go ahead with uh, Windows 11 Home, that is index number one. Okay, so now going back to the help DISM so this time I'm going to use a command for applying an image applying a WIM file so for that I will use the switch apply image so how to use that DISM forward slash apply hyphen image space forward slash question mark to see the help and from here you can see that to apply an image you need to specify the location of the WIM file from that WIM file which edition you want to install the index of that and then to which directory you want to apply that WIM file so let's start image file image file colon and I give a space to take benefit of autocomplete so I say D colon backslash INS and I press tab it automatically completes and I go back and delete that extra space and then forward slash index colon one that is the first windows 11 home edition and forward slash apply dir and i want to apply to the e drive if you remember we formatted e drive we are applying this to e drive so just press enter key and if everything is fine it will start applying this image to the e drive okay so the process completed successfully I just need to close the command prompt and click on continue to Windows 10 although it is Windows 11 but that is the name in the boot configuration database so it's okay anyhow you're not going to see it during the boot process okay now it's going to boot and take you through the out-of-the-box experience and for out-of-the-box experience you must have internet connectivity so that it can log in using the Microsoft account
Okay, so on the setup screen, I go ahead with the defaults, click yes. default keyboard I don't want to have secondary keyboard and at this point you might be prompted to connect to Wi-Fi I'm already connected to the local network so I'll just log in Okay, so I accept the license agreement. Okay, so here you get prompt for logging using Microsoft credentials and there is no other option to log in using the local account. So the catch is just you enter some fake email address. I put one at the rate one dot com and click next. enter some invalid password click next okay so now I can create an offline account IT Army I don't want to have a password and I accept the default privacy settings okay so finally we land on Windows 11 desktop so finally let's have the So finally, let's have the look on the settings. So MS Info 32. And here you can see that I have Windows 11 installed in legacy BIOS mode. Okay, so you can see it's legacy BIOS mode, Windows 11 home. So hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.